Hello, so I wanted to go over a similar problem that we had in class, um, and this is for those that would like a little bit more tutorial with a little, maybe few, fewer distractions in class. So um, this is two lines, two parallel lines right here, um, and they're cut by two other lines, right? So we can see a triangle right here, we can see a triangle right here, and we're starting off with a label here, 37 degrees, and this right here is 43 degrees. Now, these are not perfect drawings, um, so I would not say that this is probably a little bit bigger than 37 degrees, but we're just gonna roll with it, okay? Um, right here, this is a 90 degree angle. So what I wanna talk us through is how to go about labeling all these different things. So, um, what I wanna be able to do is have in each little crevice, have, have something labeled um, telling us how many degrees each one is. So I'm going to talk about a couple angle relationships and by the end I should have it completely labeled. So first one I want to go after, I'm going to start up here top left. Um, right here, right, I have a vertex using a con complementary angle relationship. I can see that right here, this is going to be 180 degrees. So 180 minus 37 leaves me with 143 degrees. So this right here is 143 degrees. All right, from there, we can see that this one right here shares the same line with this angle right here. So we know that they're going to be vertical angles, right? We can rotate 180 degrees to get from here to there, right? From there to there. So this is also 37 degrees. Um, and then this right here is a vertical angle to here. So this also is going to be 143 degrees. All right, next one, I'm going to take a look at over here. So the very similar to this first one, um, I can see that this right here is, complement, is gonna be supplementary. Um, so 180 minus 43 degrees is going to give us 100 137 degrees. All right, and let's see. So I can see right here is going to be vertical to here. So this is gonna be 43 degrees. And right here we know this is a triangle. So there's 180 degrees in a triangle. So 37 and 43 make up 80 degrees exactly, so, well, we know that this, uh, this looks like it's uh, less than 90, but just for, given, it, assuming that these are correct, um, this would be 100 degrees. All right, from there, we can look at, we can start to look at this one. All right, so we know that this is 90, and we also know that um, these are parallel lines, right? So we can see that that's gonna be 90 as well. So if that's 90 and this is 180, then these two are gonna be complementary. 43 plus something else is going to give 90. So that should be 47 degrees. 47 plus 43 is 90. All right, 47. All right, we know that this is 90, so 47 plus what? plus 90 equals 180. We know that that's gonna be 43, right? And we also know this is gonna be, this right here shares the relationship of alternate interior angles. So we know that those are congruent. Um, we can take a look at this piece right here. Um, so given alternate interior angles between here and here, we know that this is gonna be 37 degrees. Or, given that these three are supplementary, 43 plus 100 plus 37 give us 180 degrees. And lastly, should be able to finish this off. So 37 is vertical to this, so this is 37 also. 43 degrees is vertical to right here, so this is gonna be 43 degrees. And this right here is going to be vertical to here. So it's gonna be 100 degrees. All right, so this is two lines cut by a transversal, um, and then a second transversal turning into a triangle. 
um, we had to use supplementary angles, angles that add up to 180, congruent angle relationships such as vertical angles, alternate interior angles, um, and then we use complementary angles. So, for example, 43 and 47 add up to 90. Um, please comment in the questions if if you if you have any questions about that or if there's other problems that you like to do. Oh, and I forgot to say, stay weird and happy holiday.